it's quite nice, isn't it, to be able to give our students an indication of how far along the quiz they've gone. And we can do this by providing them with a progress bar. So let's just have a look at what that involves. If we go to preview, first of all, we can see in our quiz here, there's no way that a student can tell where they are in the quiz. Obviously, it's the beginning, but once they've gone through, um, let's go to the second question to make this a little bit clearer. So we know it's a second question, but we don't know how many questions there are to come. Is it just three? Is it 20? And so sometimes students like to know where they are and how much more they've got to do. So let's have a look at how we can add the progress bar. We're going to the spots over on the right hand side there, more settings, and then we're going to hit settings and we're going to go down to show progress bar there. So let's click that and now let's go to preview. And you can see down here on the right hand side at the bottom, we've got page one of 20. So the student knows there's 20 pages now, obviously, and where they are. Let's answer the first question and we can see we're on page two. And similarly, we can work our way through uh, the quiz that way. So it's a useful indicator for students to know where they are, how much more they've got to do. Two things to be aware of on this, uh, not to be confused with progress bar in the sense that how much progress the student is making in their learning, i.e. how much they've come from not knowing anything to their standard of knowledge and their level of knowledge now. This is about progress through the quiz. And the second thing, really importantly, is this only works if you have sections built into your quiz. So obviously you can see, again, from previous videos, if you've watched them, the sections that we've built out as we've gone through the course, lots of different sections. However, if this was just one quiz and one page, so to speak, where there were no sections at all, this function, this progress bar function wouldn't work because it needs to uh, identify how many pages it's got. So essentially, be aware, understand that a section is referred to as a page when we look at it uh, on the progress bar like that. So I think that's quite a useful thing to help our students with in terms of their learning, in terms of taking the quiz, knowing how far they've got to go, also being aware of how much time they might have left to, to complete these types of activities.